Hello, everyone. Welcome to today's class. Hi, teacher. Hi. How are you, Karina? I'm fine, teacher. And you? I'm great. Thanks for asking. We are going to wait for your classmates to get into the class, and we're going to start. Hi. Hi, hello there. Hi, teacher. What do you Hi, mean? Fabiola. How, How are, are you? you? <laughs> I'm great, Fabiola. What about How you? How are you? Are you? I am very happy. Excellent. That's the attitude. That's the rhythm. <laughs> very good. Okay, so we're in time now. So welcome everyone to today's class. It's a pleasure as always to have you in here. And let me check, how are you, all of you? Let me see. Marvin, how are you? I'm fine, thank you, teacher. How are you? I'm great. Thanks for asking. Very good. Let me see. Fatima, Karina, how are you? Fine, teacher. I'm okay. fine. Very good. Fine, but tell me that you're not boring, right? <laughs> I think you're happy, just tired. Let's see, Diane, how are you? Hi, teacher, all good. And you? Uh, everything is good, thanks for asking. Oh, there, you great. <laughs> <laughs> there you have it, that's what I like, your smile, everyone's smile, it's very good. Let me see, Noemi, how are you? Hi, miss, everything is okay. Good, that's great. How about traffic? Did you go out today? Mm -hmm. Sorry? Did you go out? Um, yes, I work every day and I came back home to 6 p.m. Mm -hmm. Ah, so how was how was the top the traffic jump? Was it crowded? Uh, I thought so. Oh. I I ha I had in the traffic uh for 30 minutes. That's great. That, that's that's not too much for the ones who live in El Salvador. That's like a normal time, right? To arrive home. Very good. Excellent. Let me see. Karina, how are you? Welcome. Thanks. I'm fine. And you? Great. I'm happy to see you in class. Me too. Excellent. Very good. Let's Lisette Velasco. How are you? Your microphone. I'm sorry. Don't I'm worry. great. <laughs> Excellent. Really good. Yeah, I can see that. You're happy. That's great. Very good. So, so, so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I remember that we have a lot of problems in life, uh, time, <laughs> economy, different things, but at least you're smiling and that's good. That's the attitude. Let me mm -hmm. see, Tizia. How are you? I'm good, thanks. Excellent, very good. Hey, Gracia, smile, you are in English class. <laughs> <laughs> there you are, very good. Let me see. Claudia Maria, welcome. How are you? Hello, teacher. I'm tired. Yeah, I understand. <laughs> but it's good that at least you're in class. Hey, is that a yeah. cat, the one that you have behind? <laughs> 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 I love cats. You love cats? Yes. I, I don't like cats. Nah, just kidding. Just kidding. It's a joke. Okay, it's a joke. Just to put the mood in here. Very good. I love them. It's just that sometimes I don't know what happened with them. They are weird. But I love yes. them. 
Let me see. Jocelyn, how are you? Jocelyn, how are you? Very good. Very Thank good. You. And you? I'm great. Thanks for asking. Very good. Let me see. So I have. Ah, so let me see. Rene Vizcarra, how are you? Very good. Good. Very hot. Yeah, actually, the weather is very hot. You're right. But hey, you should have a fan. I have my fan just right in front of me. Okay, let me see. Elsie de Carballo, how are you, Elsie? Elsie? Let me check, how are you? Hmm. So, are you in class, Elsie? Let's check somebody else. Let's see, Cesar, how are you? Welcome to today's class. I'm good, Miss. Okay, excellent. Very good. That's great. Let me see. So, we have Jenny. Jenny, how are you? Tell me. Hi, everyone. Very good, teacher. Great, very good. I'm happy for you. Let me see. I have somebody else in here. Yes, Herson. How are you, Herson? Hey, Miss. Hi. Uh, I'm fine. Are you ready for today's day. class? Yes, yes, I'm ready. Excellent. That's the attitude. Very good. Walter. Hey, Walter, what happened to you? You don't have your camera open. Let me see, where are you? Hi, teacher. Hi, there you are, very good. How are you? I'm very fine, teacher, thank you, and you? I'm great, thanks for asking, I'm great. Thanks, God. Let me see. I have Luis Alonso. Yay! Now I say correct your name, right? <laughs> How are Hello, you? Teacher. Hello. I'm fine, teacher. That's great. Very good. Are you ready for today's class? Yes, teacher. Ready. That's the attitude. Very good. Let me see. Mauricio. He'll turn the, turn the light on, Mauricio, I didn't see you. How are you? Hello, I'm sorry. It's, it's, uh, it's the light that we have. Uh, uh, I have a, uh, the light is not too power. But, uh, um, okay, so you don't have electricity. Oh, no, I don't, I don't. Uh, 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 there you have it. Very good, Mauricio, yeah. how are you? Uh, fine, thank you, and you? I'm great, very good. I'm happy to see all of you guys in the class. Very good. Yes. Most yes, of you are ready to we are ready to begin in this. Excellent. This, the last this last day. Ah, uh -huh, exactly. This is your of last day from last this day week. Of the week. Uh -huh, exactly for this week. It's not your last class. Just from uh -huh. this week. Very good. That's the attitude, Mauricio. Very good. Hey, listen. So remember when I ask you how are you. It's not just to spend time, right? It's just because I need to check how is your ability to provide information. And if you can say anything else to, to more than just, I'm fine, Miss. <laughs> okay, I need you to provide more information. We're in a conversation in here. I want to know how was your day? Hey, Miss, it was a lot of traffic outside. Oh my gosh, but it's good that at least you are in class. There you have it. <laughs> Very good. So let me see, Fatima, how are you? I'm great to start the new class. Excellent, Thanks. very good, very good. Let me see, Milagro. Hello, Milagro, how are you? Fine, thank you, teacher, and you? 
I'm great. I'm happy to see you in class. Very good. That's great. Now listen, I have Jimmy. How are you, Jimmy? Hi, Jimmy. How are you? Mm, there you are. Now you see everyone. We're checking. In this moment, I can't hear you, Jimmy. Maybe it's your microphone, the internet, anything. You're taking okay? list. Huh? You're taking list. No, I'm just checking how are you, everyone. I need you to speak as much as you can. Remember, I need you to practice your speaking ability, your speaking skill. That's why I'm asking you. I don't, I, I mean, I'm happy to know that you are great and you're happy and you're good. That's great, but I need to more. I need to know more than that, okay? Just to practice your speaking. Exactly, very good. Okay, everyone, so welcome to today's class. Let me show you my content for today. So listen, we're going to review some things. I hope that most of you have finished by today, section two. And I will say this one more time for you and for everyone. Please practice as much as you can in the platform, okay? Take advantage of this course. If you have any question, please don't forget to ask me, okay? I will get you an answer or anything that you need in just a small time, okay? Just in a small matter of time. Okay, so please let me know whenever you need something from the platform. Hey, Miss, I quite don't understand this. Can you please explain me? And there you go, I will explain you. So please practice as much as you can in the platform. Please advance in those exercises. And there you go. Now listen, so we are in Thursday, July 22, 2021. We're in still section two. Today we're going to see just like a special review for everything. And we have the same topic. How do you spend your day? And we are in class six. So welcome everyone. I don't know if you remember, but yesterday we have been practicing with this conversation, right? Now, listen, let me check who was the last one. Yeah, Karina and Rene Vizcarra. You two were the ones that practiced yesterday, right? Just about to finish the class. Now, everyone yes. else is going to practice. Yes, very good. Everyone else is going to practice. But listen, listen this. You are going to add extra information to the conversation. You're going to improvise. For example, look at the conversation. It finished where it says, Kevin, that's my favorite restaurant. By the way, I'm Kevin. So you can continue the conversation by saying something like, nice to meet you, Kevin. How was your day? Uh, tell me a little bit more about yourself or something else. What I need you, what I want you to do, it's to create more content to the conversation, okay? So let's take maybe less than a minute to think what else can you add to that conversation, okay? Think about any idea that you have to add to this conversation and something extra that I want from you, my dear students, is that you're going to change the names, okay? For example, if, let's suppose that Mauricio is going to work with Fatima. Let's suppose, right now we're just supposing, okay? So instead of saying, so do you usually come to the gym in the morning? Fatima, you're going to say, Oh, no, Mauricio, you're going to say, so do you usually come to the gym in the morning, Fatima? Okay, like you're having a real conversation with her. 
not just practicing, you're having a real conversation. Okay, is everything clear? Do you have questions, everyone? Yeah, but I, I have a doubt. Uh, uh -huh. We, uh, when we do talk more about our uh, usual day, mm -hmm. uh, usual days, is the, sorry. Uh, Don't worry. Um, we will do in, in a, in a photo or in a, in a, in that no in here or here here in in here in yes ah okay yes I, you know I, why because when we are checking the speaking when we are checking pronunciation everyone is like paying attention to what you are saying so let's suppose that I don't know how to pronounce the word usually. But you, Mauricio, you said it correctly, usually. So I understand what's the correct pronunciation thanks to you, okay? That's why we are not doing this in breakup rooms or something else. We are doing it in here because we're helping each other, okay? Oh, okay. Excellent, that's the attitude, very good. Okay, so now let's start. Walter, you're going to be Walter. <laughs> And Fatima, you're going to be Fatima. Action. You start, Walter. Hey. <clears throat> so, did you usually come to the jeans in the morning? Yeah, I do. I usually come at after uh, after work. I come here at 10, 10 a.m. Really? What time do you go to work? Oh, I work in the afternoon. I start work at five. Wow, that's late. When do you get home at night? I usually get home at midnight, but I get up a uh, bed to... 1 a.m., 2 a.m., I watch TV. Midnight? That is late. What do you do exactly? I am chef. I wore at the pink elephant. Well, that's my favorite restaurant, by the way. I am Kevin. Nice to meet you, Kevin. See you later. Nice to meet you. Excellent. Very good. That was great. Now you see, Thank it's not that difficult. It's not that difficult. You just have to improvise. Say different things like, how was your day or something else? Something extra, right? Okay. That was very good, Walter. Farima, thank you. Okay, now let's move on to Fabiola Guidos and Mauricio, please. Action. Uh, so do you usually come, do you usually come to the gym uh, in the morning, Fabiola? No, I don't. I usually go to the gym on weekend. Oh, ah, nice. Okay, really. And what time? What time usually do you go to the work? And in this moment, I work in my house. Some work. Yes, I work in my house. I am a teacher, and for the pandemic. I work in my house. <laughs> okay, okay. And uh, so, you usually work, well, no, all, all the day in your house? Yes. Okay. And what time? Well, well, uh, and what time do you finish your work? I finish my work at 
12 o'clock. I work medium time. Are you, do you finish at five or normally work five or six? Or you don't uh, have a schedule? Uh, yes, I finish at 12 o'clock, but yeah, I check, check homework, I check email, uh, answer uh, the message uh, par uh, parents and another activity. Okay, okay. Well, uh, so what do you do exactly after uh, at night? What do you usually do in your normally work in your house? your home or house? Uh, at night, I, <laughs> in my house, I cook and I watch TV with my family and you. Are, what do you, you do, Mauricio? Oh, well, I, well, I usually, I usually, uh, before to, to begin in my classes in, here in, in English cor corporate, corporativo, and I usually watch TV program like uh, Discovery Channel, and in between I I was I was watching TV. I was sleeping. Okay, I, excellent. I, and I where do you work? I finished my work at I finished my well my work here in in, the, in, in my home at okay six o'clock. Okay. Okay, excellent. If you just finished, let me tell you, bravo. <laughs> <laughs> that was great, guys. Very good. Now, listen, that's the point of all this. All of this is practice for you because English is not only grammatical things. Yeah, grammar is an important part of English, but that's not it. I need more from you guys because I know that you can give me more. I trust on you. And that was great, Mauricio. Very good job. You handled correctly the conversation as well as Fabiola. That was great, Fabiola. You take a totally different direction from the conversation and that was great. Very good. I'm surprised. Improve. We have to improve. <laughs> yeah, excellent. You've got a 10. <laughs> Okay, now listen everyone, don't worry. If you don't wanna take another direction from the conversation, you can continue with this one, just add extra things like, hey, how was your day? Something else, very good, thank you guys. Okay, now let's go with Diane and let me see. Karina Jimenez. Hi Karina, so do you usually come to the gym in the morning? No, I don't. I the exercise in my house. Oh, great. Really? Um, what time do you go to work? Repeat? I, I don't listen. What time do you go to work? I go to work at uh, 7 30 in the morning. I start work at 8 o'clock. And you? Um, I work in my house in the clinic. Um, I, I am do therapy. An example, I like a nurse. And uh, my family have um, a clinic. Um, I work today in clinic my in the clinic in the my family. Okay. You go to the gym? Yes, I love um, exercise. And I usually uh, I usually go at the end in the night, exactly um, 9 p.m. 
Um, what do you like to do in your free time? In my free time, I like uh, the watch TV and I like to listen to the music. I clean my house. Mm -hmm. and, 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 and you? And I like to watch TV and a special and K dramas, the movies. I love the read um uh, books, the business administration. Uh, I like all 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 things. Um, I like the dancing. Um, and maybe uh, I like uh, a drug. Do you have brothers or sisters? No, I only. <laughs> Mm -hmm. And you? Yes, uh, I have two sisters. Whoa. Um. Hey, what you say? Nice. Girls, that was amazing. I know it could be hard, but it's good that at least you're trying. You're giving me extra information and that's what I want. Now listen, before getting to your comments, just let me see, Fabiola, uh, I forgot to tell you, but please repeat after me, part-time. Part-time. Mm -hmm. instead, of, instead of saying middle-time, because that, that doesn't exist, you can say part-time. Okay, part-time, part-time, part-time. There you have it, very good. Medio tiempo, excellent, very good. Now let's see, Diane. I like to dance. I like to dance. Uh -huh. Or you can say, I like dancing. Oh, I like dancing. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Either or, it's okay, very good. Thank you, girls. Now let's continue with... I got my girl in here, Claudia Maria and Rafael, please. <laughs> Hello, Claudia. What do you do? Hello, Rafael. Um, I'm in my English class. <laughs> hey, what do you do? I'm a marketer. Where, where do you work? I work in an office. And you? Which which office? Uh, at the university. Uh, I, I work at eight o'clock and I finish at six p.m. And you, where do you I, work? I work at Rio Real. I start at seven a.m. and I finish at 7 p.m. Oh, that's a long time yes. to work. When do you get home? Sorry? When do you get home? I uh, I go to home to 6 p.m. and I I have a dinner with my family and then I I start the English class. <laughs> okay, do you live with your parents or your husband? I live with my mother and my sister. And you? I live with my part with my wife and son and daughter. Um, and let me see, uh, do you, what do you do in your, in your free time? In my free time, I watch TV, I listen to music, 
and I play with my uh, cousin and you. Uh, why? What is your favorite? What is your favorite uh, game with your uh, children? Ah, okay. Um, uh, play football and we play kickboxing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what kind of music do you do you like? Um, I like uh, salsa and bachata. Okay, do you like dance? Yes, I like dance. Where do you where do you dance? Um, <laughs> <in a discotheque. laughs> oh, <my> okay, <laughs> so much information. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> that was great, guys. Thank you so much. Very good. Okay. Now you see you're using WH questions while you are giving me or you're providing information about yourself. Very good. Excellent. Ah, let me see. Diane, I have a question for you. Is in the night or at night? At night. There you have it. Very good. Okay. Let's move on. Noemi, you're going to work with Cesar. Remember, if you want to take advantage of this conversation, you can do it. You just have to add extra things, okay? Don't worry. I Let hate me... conversation time. Excellent. Very good. Okay. Repeat Let's go again. Question, please. <laughs> okay. Action. Where are you from, Noemi? I'm from El Salvador. What in city? Excuse me, could you repeat that, please? Uh, where are uh, is city? Well, where are uh, each city? Your question is, where do I live? Excuse me, where do you live? Ah, okay. I live in Lourdes, Colón. Uh, what time do you go to work? Um, I don't understand your question. Repeat, please, again. Okay, okay. another question. Uh, what do you do to free time? Ah, in my free time, I practice a uh, handicraft. Really? Pr practice is repeat, please? Uh, in my free time, I practice handicraft. Ah, you, you play video game? Uh, you. And you play video game? Ah, um, okay. And you, where do you live? I live in Ciudad Delgado. Uh, what's your favorite color? Uh, my, my favorite color are red and purple. I have a uh, happy family. How uh, many the families? Um, could you uh, no, number or the list? Uh, How many family members do you have? Excuse me, what do member the families is list or number? Uh, uh, every uh, as well. Um, currently, I live alone, but in my family, we have nine, nine. Uh, my mom, I have three brothers and three sisters. And what about you? Who do you live with? Uh, my family is mother and three, three brothers. 
one son, one uh, daughter. Uh, it's okay. Um, what is your work schedule? Uh, excuse me. <laughs> Repeat, please. What is your work schedule? Where? What I don't know standard. What is your, your schedule? Horario? Ah, schedule. Excuse me. <laughs> no, I understand. Continue. I usually go the word at 6 a.m. And you? Uh, my work schedule is from 7.15 a.m. to 4.45 p.m. From Monday to Thursday and Friday, I I start my work schedule uh, at 7 15 a.m. to 3.45 p.m. All right. What is the job? Excuse me? What is the job? I don't understand your question. What's your job? What ah. is the job? <laughs> job. <laughs> I am a Certified auditor for Columbia's forward brand. I work oh. at manufacturing company. Auditor and information financing? Um, certified for a specific uh, customer. Finish. Okay, Finish. that was great. <laughs> Thank you. I need to interrupt you because we have more classmates. But that was great. Very good. Good. Excellent. There you have it. That's the reason why we need to practice more and more as much as we can. Now, let's see. So I have some comments in here, for example. Um, let me see. Cesar, when you want to ask about the city, you can say something like, in which city do you live? Repeat after me, Cesar. In which city? In the which city? Uh -huh. Do you live? Do you live? Excellent. Very good. There you have it. That's one question. Thank you. And there you have it. My pleasure. Let's see. Um, what about this? Listen, Noemi, when you're saying or you are giving information about yourself, you can say, for example, he asked you about how, ma how many family members do you have on your family, right? So instead of saying we have you should say we are yeah okay excellent there you have it so very good that was great excellent very good let me see i have somebody else in here let's see florence you are going to practice with luis alonso Action. Okay. Okay. Uh, Sorry. With Florence. Florence Magaña. Florence. Okay. <laughs> Florence. Uh, uh, hello, Florence. How are you? Hello. I'm fine. And you? How are you? I'm, I'm fine, uh, Florence. Um, where do you work? Uh, I work at the university. And you? You can use the conversation, Luis. Don't worry. Or maybe her his internet is not working. Yeah. 
Yes, Florence, he's not in here, maybe because of his internet, but don't worry, I'm gonna get you another pair. Let's see, Herson, please help Florence with her conversation. Okay. Hey, Florence, nice to meet you. Hi, Herson. What time do you go to work? Uh, I wake up at 6 a.m., but in the traffic, I during drive one hour and um, I start work at 8 a.m. Oh, that's great. And what you? you what, what university do you work? Which university do you work? Uh, the name is Universidad Católica del Salvador. Catholic oh. University of El Salvador. And I start to work at 8 a.m. and I finish my work at 5 p.m. Okay. <laughs> uh -huh. Continue, continue. What do you do on weekends? Um, in weekends, I rest, but <laughs> but I I need I need I need or oh, I go to go to the, the the play soccer and in the night, but in the all day I rest. Oh, that sounds great. And you? Which? Oh, um, I try to get a relax of my work <laughs> because it's a little bit stressful. <laughs> and oh. I take a nap, I watch TV, I listen to music, and I do some homeworks at home. Are you a, are you a teacher? No, I'm an accountant. Oh. Um, and you? Are you a student I, or? I am an architect. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah. I work in in construction company. Oh, great. Okay, Thanks. that's nice great. to meet you. Hey, nice to meet you too. Indeed, that was great. Very good, very good. Now, let me see. I know that sometimes we can get nervous when we are improvising, right? It's pretty normal, don't worry about it. We usually get nervous because uh, maybe our brain is getting confused, our words are not being like so well as we expect them to be, but don't worry, this is part of your learning. And actually this is an important part of your learning. The more you practice, the better you will become. So that's the reason why we are practicing. Now, let me see. I think it's enough for today. Not the class, we're not ending the class, okay? It's enough from practicing conversation today. Next class, we are going to have another people to practice with this conversation, or we're going to have more people to practice with it. I have your names in here, so the ones that passed today, maybe you won't pass on Monday, but the other ones, yes, you're going to pass indeed on Monday, okay? So I got your names in here. So let's move on right now, okay? Let's see, so we have this important question. What do you remember from the previous class? Yes, we have a lot of questions, we have six. Let me see. Number one, mention the WH questions structure. 
Let me see Karina Marisol Garcia, please. I didn't was the 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 class of yesterday. Oh, you were in this class, but you can check the recordings. Don't okay on YouTube. Okay. You can check the recordings. Okay. So that you practice. Remember, everyone, that yes, you do have uh, the platform to practice, and that's great, wonderful. But but at least if you are not in class, in virtual class, you should watch the YouTube videos. Okay from the class, the recordings. Now let's move on, let's get, let me see if I can get someone. Lisette, Lisette Velasco, tell me or mention the WH questions and structure. Is WH class? Auxiliary class, subject class, base forms, and plus complement and I don't remember. No, you question don't. mark. It. <laughs> question mark. <laughs> Very good. Excellent. There you have it. Now listen, just one recommendation that in here you don't use. In this part, you don't use um, auxiliary yet, okay? So in number three, we're going to use auxiliary. Very good, you said. You remember most of the structure. Very good. That was great. Let's see, Fatima Rivas, mention at least three WH words that you remember, honey. Where, which, and what. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Very good. Simple as that. Let me see. Now we do have the auxiliaries. Rafael, which auxiliar? No, mention the structure of WH questions using auxiliaries. Mm, let me see. Let me see auxiliaries. WH. Mm -hmm. Plus, do, does, plus subject, plus complement. Excellent. Very good. Let's check. <laughs> We're going to check just in a moment. Okay. Very good, Rafael. Thank you. Now, let's see. I'm going to ask Crisia. Which auxiliary? No. Ah, yes. Which auxiliary do we use when talking in third person singular? Does. Exactly. Very good. That's the auxiliary. Well, um, let me see. Uh -huh. do you have a question? No. No. It's okay. Okay. Good. Excellent. Does. That's the auxiliary. Let me see. Walter, which are the subject pronouns? that we can use with the auxiliary do. Oh, I do with they. Excellent, very good, there you have it. It's good that you, you have been practicing, very good, that's great. Now let's see, last but not least, let me have... Jocelyn Rodriguez, mention at least five adverbs of time. Replic, please. Yes, mention at least five adverbs of time. We saw adverts of time in yesterday's class. Um, tuve problemas ayer con el internet. Oh, okay, Jocelyn, don't worry. I understand. Thank you. Let me. Okay. I have 
Jenny Lisset Escobar. Tell me, Jenny. Okay, teacher. Uh, adverb of time, uh, early, late, later, before, afterward. Excellent. Very good, Jenny. That was great. Thank you. No, I have now I have an extra question for everyone. Not for everyone. I'm going to choose some of you. Let me see. Diane. Diane, which are the prepositions of time that we have or that we learned yesterday? Diane, which are the which are the prepositions of time that we learned yesterday? Uh, tomorrow, today, yesterday. Uh -huh. um, Those are adverbs of time. What about the prepositions? Ah, uh, preposition. Um, preposition is a. Uh, uh, at, on, in. Excellent, very good. There you are, excellent. So there you have it, guys. I hope you remember this information, but don't worry that we're still going to practice with this information today. So let's see. Remember, for questions and simple present using the auxiliaries, and WH words, we have WH plus auxiliary plus subject. And don't forget the verb in base form, okay? You cannot have a sentence without the verb in here, okay? Then you have the complement and last, but not least, you have the question mark, okay? Is it clear this part? Yes? Yes. Excellent. Yes. Good, good, good. So let's move yeah. on. So let's see. This information, it was from, I think that Monday's class, but I brought it in here for one specific reason. Let's see. So third person is singular. Notice the changes on the verbs when talking in third person singular. Look at the examples. So we have the examples. In he and she, the verb changes, okay? So we say works, takes, studies, teaches, does, goes, has, okay? There you have the comparison between the verbs. When you are using auxiliaries, you don't need to change this verb in third person, okay? For example, what does she do on her free time? No voy a decir, I won't say. What does she does on her free time? That's not correct, okay? That's not correct. I can say, what does she do on her free time? That's the right answer. That's the right question. So keep an eye on this because sometimes when we are in a hurry, we make this confusion, right? Like we add this verb in third person singular, but you don't need it because you have verb does, which is the auxiliary. Miss, I have a question. Excellent. Tell me, Cesar. Is correct. When does he do table hunger? Where does he? When, when does he when, do? When, when. Mm -hmm. Yeah, when does he do? Exactly, there you have another example. No vamos a decir, when does he does his homework? No. When does he do his homework? That's great, Tisa, it's correct. Okay. okay, right. Yes, it's right, very good. So I think this is clear, right? 
So we have practice time. Create one sentence in affirmative using simple present in third person singular. We won't use auxiliaries in here, just basic simple present. That's it. I don't need auxiliaries, I don't need anything else. Just one sentence in affirmative and simple present, okay? Now let's work, let's work. Somebody else who has finished? Me too. Excellent, very good. One simple sentence in affirmative. You don't need auxiliaries, you don't need anything else. Just remember that it's in third person singular. Okay, so that was enough time. Let's move on. Let's start with Karina Marisol, please. My brother-in-law works at home on week. Excellent, very good, works. That's great. Let's see Luis Alonso. Um, we speak English, we speak English. Mm, yeah, we speak English, but in third person singular, you can use she or he. Uh, no sé. She's uh, in my house. Okay, now let's check this. No. You know, this is the reason why we are practicing. You're good, Luis. Your sentence is good in simple present. And you're using verb to be. But it's simple present. Pay attention to this part, everyone. In third person singular, oh. we use he or she. That's the third person singular. And we use verbs with an S at the end. Works, takes, studies teaches, goes, has, does, okay? Yes, teacher. Excellent. Let's see, let's go with somebody else, Noemi. Please, could you give us a feedback about the rules? Could yes, you honey. Your person, please? Yes, yes, let's see. Now listen, where you are, when you are making statements or sentences in simple present. This is very simple. Notice in here, I'm gonna make one sentence. Okay. 
Okay? This is my sentence. She has a part-time job. Let me see, Florence, what's my, what's my subject in third person singular? She, exactly. Noemi, what's my verb in third person singular? Has. Exactly. And then I have the complement. Simple as that. You don't need more than that. Okay? Yeah, me. But uh -huh. for when we change the verbs, mm -hmm. it exists. Uh, I don't remember if we have three rules about uh, about why it changes. For example, teach teaches. Uh -huh. Study studies. Uh -huh. I know that exists rules. Uh -huh. Could you explain when, when? When do we use those verbs? Yeah. Yeah, honey, we use them when we have third person singular with he and she. That's the third person singular. There are not much of a rules in here. It's just more that knowing the structure, okay? This is like knowing the structure. So if you have third person singular, which are he or she, he or she, you can use those verbs. You can change the form of the verb, okay? Is it clear or should we add something extra, Normie? Yeah, uh, I believe that uh, you don't understand. My question. Uh, my question is uh, if you could explain the rules. For example, is if I have a verb uh, with the M is Y, I need to eliminate eliminate Y and add I E S. Um, you want ah uh, okay now I got you. Yeah, I can bring those rules for next class because right now we don't have much time, but I can bring those rules for next class if you want, guys. That will be pretty amazing. It's a long list of rules according to that grammatical part. But yes, we can do that as a warm up for next class. That will be wonderful, Nami. Yeah, because you're right. Sometimes we change. It's not only that adding S, you have to change letters from one verb and add extra letters. Yes, you're right, Noemi, very good. Good that you keep an eye on that. Yes, we can do that if you want for next class. I will bring some extra rules that we are going to review, okay? For you to understand a little bit more about simple present. Okay. okay. That's uh, great, re very good. Remember is regular verbs. Regular verbs, yeah, okay? Now listen, but right now, Yes, I will bring you information about that too. We can have that too, you're right, okay? Right now, we, ch we just have been practicing with the information of the platform, but yes, indeed, I'm going to bring more information for you guys, okay? So that I think it's going to be very clear after that information. Do you have anything else that you would like me to explain you for next class? or just the simple present rules? Nothing else? No, teach. Okay, excellent, Florence. I see you're like sleeping right now. <laughs> okay, very good, guys. So that was it pretty much for today's class. Not all of you have passed in this practice time. But you will, don't worry, you will in next class because we have a little bit of content for next class, okay? So remember, please, as always, if you have any question, doubt about any exercise, you can ask me. Some of you did already, you asked me about any exercise, you can do that. That's not a problem for me at all. And please remember to practice in the platform. Today, I sent the message with the names of the people who hasn't practiced in the platform. And today is the last day for you to complete section two. Okay, very good, everyone. So it was a pleasure to see you in today's class.
see you on Monday. Be ready because we're going to have extra content. Okay? So, goodbye. Take care. Thank you. Goodbye. Bye. Bye. Oh, this night is... Let's go. Happy vacation. Bye. 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 We are not still in vacation. Next week, Bye. we are not still in vacation. Until after next week, we are going to be on vacation. Yeah. Ah, Diane, stay as a kid on vacation. <laughs> no, that's not possible. <laughs> All right, everyone. Goodbye. Bye, Bye. Tisha. Tisha.